Uh, this is a little video just uh, in answer to the question, what time frame do I trade and why? Well, the way I like to trade is use a larger time frame like the day, the four hour, or the one hour, and find a trend. And I use indicators that give me heads up as to when the market might be going in that direction. Then I like to go to a smaller time frame like a 30 minute, 15, or 5 minute. For this illustration, I'm just going to use this trend on the four hour and we'll go to the one hour first and see if there's uh, anything there. Now I always like to look at the easiest chart to read and the one that's giving me the freshest signals. Now right here between these blue lines is the what the one hour is telling us. There are some signals here but uh, they're not uh, fresh or easy to read. The chart's not too bad but I, I need to see some fresh movements to, to enter the market. So let's look at the 30 minute. Okay we have a, an entry signal right here uh, this would have given us one trade for 70, 75 pips and another trade right in this area for about another 35, 40 pips uh, right in this range. Let's see what the 15 minute uh, looks like. On this 15 minute, yes, there are some entry signals, but it's not quite as easy to read as the 30 minute. So what I like to do is actually find the time frame that's giving the best signal, and sometimes it's the day, sometimes it's the four hour, so forth. Each time frame and each currency pair at different times throughout the trading week uh, offer different uh, signals. Uh, pick the easiest signals to read and then trade from those charts. I don't look at just one or two uh, currency pairs. I look at those that are moving and then trade on those. So I hope this shed some, some light on uh, your trading and, and different time frames the, the way I use them. Uh, good luck in your trading.